And I apologize due to some technical difficulties yesterday. You did not get this video when I originally planned it. My bad. It's all good though. Um, so quick touch base on what's coming for the next couple of days. Tomorrow you're going to review over what we have learned so far about solar system generals such as orbits and uh, plant earth sort of orbity things. Um, that sounds so scientific. I apologize. <laughs> You are going to have a quiz on Thursday, Friday, another awesome, silly science in space article. The next week, we are going to look in depth at the eight planets and five dwarf planets that live in our solar system, plus some asteroid comets and our sun, uh, Sol, the star. Um, and then you're going to do a planet or other astronomical item project and uh, we're going to end the year off with your final exams and, and those presentations, which, yeah, it's going to be a presentation. I can, I can hear your tears from here, and I love it because, you know, we teachers, we like to be evil. Um, but before we can do that, we need to do a little bit of reading. So we're looking at um, a K-12 textbook again. This is Planets of the Solar System. I'm sorry, I said K-12. It's CK-12. And we're going to start here with this image, which I don't know why it won't get bigger, but let's have a look at it anyway. On this side, we are reviewing our terrestrial planets. Remember that the four planets that have terra, or land masses, um, are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and those are closest to the Sun inside the asteroid belt. Um, but then we go to Jovian planets, that's Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Um, those are mostly gaseous planets and on our outside of that asteroid belt. Now here's the thing about these objects, planets, literally. Um, their orbits are perfectly circular, and that is because the gravity produced by our star holds the planets into a perfect or near-perfect circular orbit. Now we're going to talk a little bit about ellipses soon, um, which are kind of like an oval. It's like a point. It kind of goes like this. Um, and those things get affected by the gravity slightly different. Um, we're going to talk about those in just a moment. So let's go ahead and start our reading here. Can humans take a field trip through the solar system? A field trip through the solar system would take a long time. It took 12 years for the Voyager spacecraft to get from Earth to Neptune. If a human was on board, he or she would probably want to come back. Fortunately, unmanned spacecrafts can send back images for far distant places in the solar system. Solar system objects. Astronomers now recognize eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and five dwarf planets, Ceres, Pluto, Makemake, Hames, and Eris, more than 150 moons, and many, many asteroids and other small objects below. You can see them here in this little image here. Other objects move in regular and predictable paths around the sun. Now let's just be clear, this is not make-make, it's called Makemake. It's named after a god, the fertility god, I know, funny, um, of Easter Island because that dwarf palette in it was discovered on Easter. We'll, we'll touch base on those a little bit later. Planet sizes. The sun is just an average star compared to other stars, but it is by far the largest object in the solar system. The sun is more than 500 times the mass of everything else in the solar system combined. Listed below is the data on the sizes of the sun and planets relative to the Earth. So check that out. We got uh, the mass relative to Earth. So remember that's compared to us. So uh, 300... 33,000 times bigger than the Earth. That's the Sun. Mercury is actually a little bit less than the Earth. Venus, close to our size. Earth, obviously, we're the same size, one to one. Mars, it's a little bit smaller than us, not, not by a lot. But Jupiter is, check that out, 300, so, and 17.8. Saturn's 95, we got 14 and 17. So basically all of the Jovian planets are larger than Earth um, and we kind of rock in as the biggest planet in the terrestrial planets. Distances in the solar system. Distances in the solar system are often measured in astronomical units, known as AU. One astronomical unit is defined as the distance from the Earth to the Sun. One AU equals about 150 million kilometers, that's 93 million miles. Listed below is the distance from the sun to each planet in AU. The table shows how long it would take each planet to spin once on its axis. It also shows how long it would take a planet to complete an orbit. 
Notice how slowly Venus rotates. A day on Venus is actually longer than a year on Venus. Okay, so obviously Mercury is the closest to the sun, followed by Venus. We're obviously one AU. We're only one distance from Earth to the sun, so it's one. Um, we get out to Neptune, we're looking at 30 times the distance from the sun to Earth as it is out there to the far ends of our solar system. Okay, 55, oh, sorry, 56, almost 57 Earth days is a uh, length of a day in, in Mercury. Uh, 243 days is one day on Venus. Mars has days very similar to us. Um, half of a day for a little bit less than half of a day, actually, for us, for Jupiter and Saturn is a whole day there. Um, and then kind of crashing in kind of midday for us. And then a year. Okay, so obviously a whole orbit of the sun for Mercury doesn't take very long. It only takes about a quarter of the year, a whole season for us. About half a year for Venus. Obviously a whole year. We go around the sun one time. That's one year. It takes almost double that for Mars. But once we get out here to those Jovian planets where they're so stupid far out there, look at Neptune. It takes... 164, almost 165 years for Neptune to go all the way around its orbit around the sun. Okay. The sizes and shapes of orbits. The figure below shows the relative size of the orbits of the planets, the asteroid belt and the Kepler belt. In general, the farther away from the sun, the greater the distance from one planet's orbits to the next. The orbits of the planets are not circular, but slightly elliptical. You remember what I was telling you about this? They look like circles. They're almost perfect because our gravity is really, really intense for the sun. But um, those objects, if you notice, they're just kind of like, oh, it's further out here. And see how they kind of move? The outer and solar system, the further we get out into those Jovian planets, the, the, the more that ellip ellipsis is visible. And we're going to talk more about that soon. So in summary, the solar system has eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There are also five known dwarf planets, and there's actually a description about two more possibly being in there, so we'll talk about that later. Circe's, Pluto, Makemake, Haume, and Eris. The solar system distances are measures and multiples of the distance between the Earth and Sun. This is one astronomical unit, or an AU. All planets and dwarf planets orbit the Sun. All planets and dwarf planets rotate on their axes. The planets will slightly elliptical orbits around the sun. You have some questions over this reading. Um, and then a, a task, your discussion question is actually um, going to require you to take a picture. So get something to write with and get out your camera. You're the best. Talk to you soon.